Uh, Had you heard you? I'm here with Scott Galeo. Uh, Galeo. Galeo. Good to meet you. Okay, this is a very interesting uh, company. I think many people can benefit. Um, this is the name of the country, particular cultural elements. Um, tell us a little bit about what you can do for an animal. Right, absolutely. So, um, one of the marketplaces that we really specialize in is Amazon. Uh, so, we can take them through the entire expansion process uh, to take their sales. Abroad. So, I'll give you an example. Um, our typical sell is somebody who sells pretty well domestically, let's say somebody who sells well in the U.S. Um, and we just want to take that same success and copy that outside the U.S. borders. Right. Now why would I need your service if I can just send the merchandise directly to Amazon UK, okay, Amazon France? Don't they do that for you? Like, what, what do you do? It, it could be that Amazon uh, does some parts of that for you, but usually it's, it's not the whole kit and caboodle. And um, there's always a lot more to it than people think. So, for example, um, you know, uh, I was speaking to somebody earlier today, and they just said, well, you know, you know, Amazon UK, right? It's in English, so why do I need you guys? Right. And uh, and what I said was, uh, let's look at a couple of different aspects. So number one, yes, it's in English, but we have to tweak your products to make sure that it's in British English, so that when uh, you know a British person types in trainers when they're looking for sneakers or sports shoes, right? Um, they wouldn't find it, right? So that has to be tweaked. On top of that, too, if you think about the normal flat file, right? So you have categories, item specifics, attributes, all these things, right? Whether it's eBay, Amazon, doesn't really matter which marketplace, they're all a little bit different, right? So especially in the case of Amazon, you have to fill that out for the UK, and that's one thing we specialize in. Um, UK, you can sort of fumble through, you have enough time, right, and patience, uh, but when, they, when you're talking about, let's say, Germany, France, or Japan, uh, right, those flat files are nearly, nearly impossible if you're not an expert. Right, so you, so you convert it into, in other words, you don't just take Google Translate, you convert it into normal, common sense exactly. language, and then people want to buy it. That's exactly, right. yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you. Appreciate it.